Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Now I'm going to show you a few ways to use bookmarks in Safari. First, there's two places where Safari stores bookmarks. You've got your bookmarks menu, which down at the bottom has bookmarks that I've saved before, and you've got the concept of folders, like I've got a beaches folder that has bookmarks inside of it. And if you want to get fancy, you can even have folders inside of folders. The other place, and probably the more visible place, is what they call the bookmarks bar, which is right along here. And you can see it comes installed with a few beginner bookmarks, like Apple, not surprisingly, and Google Maps and a few other ones. And even on the bookmarks bar, you've got the concept of a folder, like they start with a popular folder that has 10 or so popular websites bookmarked in it. Okay, so now let me show you how to add to the bookmark bar. Well, one way is you can actually drag the uh, little icon here from the address bar, just drag it onto the uh, bar here. And you can see that I can insert it in the middle if I want. It'll make a little space for me. Or I can just throw it at the end. It gives me an opportunity to change the name. And since space is limited on the bar here, I'm just going to call it Maui. And there I bookmarked this website on the bookmark bar. Now let's say I want to create a folder here. Well, I can right click or control click right on the bar choose new folder and let's say I want to create a diving folder for scuba diving websites you'll see that it throws it all the way down at the right here I mean at the, on the left but it's easy enough to click and drag it and move it wherever I want so I'm going to drag it down at the end here and now I can take websites and drop them right into my diving folder like that and let me add another one here. So now you see the diving folder on the bookmarks bar has these two sites that I just added. All right, so now let me show you how to add to the bookmark menu. Well, of course, there's numerous ways of doing that. Let's go to another web page here. You can click the plus sign next to the address, and that will bring up the uh, Add This Page To, and you can send it to your bookmarks menu, or you can actually add it to the bar if you want to do it this way. And this is where you could also choose to put it inside of a folder in your bookmarks menu. Let me cancel that right now. Another way is up in the bookmarks menu, there's an Add Bookmark function. And, as always, you can see the shortcut key combination over here. In this case, it's Command-D. So, that's the way that many people do it, is if you're on a website that you want to bookmark, just do a Command-D, and it'll bring up that same, same thing. Okay, so now that you've got some bookmarks, after a while, they're going to start getting unorganized, and you're going to want to group them together and, and organize them a bit. Well, the way to do that is to open up your bookmark list, which you can do under the bookmarks menu here, show all bookmarks, or just click this open book icon here. Now, if I do that here, it'll actually open right on top of this diving website. So I like to usually open a new tab first and then go to the bookmark list. So here you can see a list of all the bookmarks I've added in the bookmarks menu and if I want to open up see what's inside of the beaches folder I can do that if I want to go look at my bookmarks bar I can do that there so let's say I want to plan ahead and create some bookmark folders that I can later add bookmarks to to do that you want to use this plus button right here so let's say I add a sports folder. And let's say I click plus again, you'll see that it actually starts creating a folder inside of sports, which may or may not be what I wanted. In this case, I do want that, so I'll make a basketball folder. 
But let's say I now want to make a bills folder that's you know not inside of sports or basketball, obviously. Well, to do that, I just want to click out in the middle here. And then once I click the plus sign, it will be a high-level folder again, just like sports. And I can open and close these however I want. See? Now, there's a really cool trick here, which I just learned a minute ago. And as usual, you can learn a lot just by hovering your mouse over things. See here it says, click to create a bookmarks folder, option click to include selected bookmarks. So what that means is, here are three bookmarks I've already made of some restaurants in Maui. If I wanted to make a food folder for that, I would first select them, hold down my option key and push plus, and look at that, it's grouped them inside a new folder and all I have to do is call it food and they're already there. It's that easy. Now, if after the fact I wanted to move bookmarks in or out of folders, that's again, as simple as clicking and dragging. So if I wanna put this inside of sports, it's now inside of sports. And if I wanna drag it back out, I can do that, just like that. Also, you see that in the last video, I made a second copy of this Natural Wonders of Maui. Well, if I wanna get rid of that, I can just click on it and then do a control click and delete, or even easier, just hit the delete key and it's gone. So now that you know the basics of the bookmarks bar, bookmark menu, and the bookmark list, watch my next video for some time-saving tips on how to use bookmarks.